And now for the thrill you've all been waiting for. Here is one of the most phenomenal acts in the history of show business. Bill Haley and his comments. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. What you in this segment of the interview with Marshall Lytle from 2012, he talks about his proudest moments, writing his memoirs, the screenplay that was made from the book, and getting into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But what are you most proud of? Of course, this is unbelievable. Yes. And the second thing is, how would you like to be remembered? Well, I, I uh, have had a wonderful, wonderful couple of years uh, since I left the Comets. My life has turned around. I just did a, a show in uh, Senegalia, Italy. Uh, we had uh, 6,000 people in my audience. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's great to look out in the audience to see nothing but heads as far as you can see. <laughs> and it was wonderful. I had a book that I wrote about my memoirs with Bill Haley and the Comets and how I grew up yeah. and how I, my life was during those years and how we created rock and roll. And uh, the book is called Still Rockin' Around the Clock, Marshall Lytle, the story of his days with Bill Haley. A writer, a screenwriter in uh, Hollywood, California, read my book, wrote a screenplay yeah. about my life. And on, in March of 2013, they're going to make a movie. Unbelievable. And uh, you're, you're going to be standing over and say, no, no, I never said that. <laughs> no, it's going to be, uh, uh, almost everything is going to be true right. in, in this film. Well, it comes right out of your book. Yes. And uh, I will only have two scenes in it. Are you going to be in it? I'm going to be in the opening scene. Uh, I'll be sitting backstage at the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, watching uh, some videos and uh, the uh, camera will come in as a close-up and I'll have a tear in my eye. <laughs> that could be real or that could be makeup. That could probably be real. Yeah. I, I get very emotional about the uh, wonderful things that has been happening to me. Other than the bad thing of losing my leg, uh, other than that, everything has just been absolutely marvelous. I've got my lady, uh, her name is Kathy, and she's my rock. Mm. Everybody needs a rock in their life. And boy, she is it. And it's not just rock and roll we're That's talking right. about. That's right, absolutely, you bet. And she travels with me everywhere I go, and she is there when I need her. And uh, we love each other very, very much. The last scene of the film is going to be uh, the actual induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I'll be holding my statue and say, that's how it is, folks. <laughs> what does it feel like when you're actually on the stage and playing? I mean, part of it is the, the audience, but part of it is just you it's interacting. A, it's the biggest high you could ever be on without drugs. The roar of the crowd, you know, is, is something that every entertainer uh, just loves to hear. And when that crowd, you know, gives you their appreciation and their approval, you say, I'm doing a good job. I know you were very close to Bill Haley. Yes. And he's been gone a long time. Yes. But I think if he was around, he'd be delighted. I think he's up there looking down on yeah. us, saying, go get them, guys. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because you were close. Yes. Yes, uh, last time I saw Bill was in 1975. Uh, I went to see him after I hadn't seen him for 25 years. And, uh, well, 20 years. And he introduced me from the stage as his original bass player. And he made me feel very good and uh, went in his dressing room and uh, he introduced me to his new wife and uh, they had just had a new baby. And uh, he was very cordial. No hard feelings. No hard feelings whatsoever. It's, it's great to, to be able to continue to do what we do uh, with, with people who appreciate it. 
Well, I really want to thank you for your time today. It's been a, I want to thank a, you, a, Craig. A delight. Thank you so very much, and uh, I hope that the people watching and listening to this little interview, uh, I hope they got some enjoyment out of my little stories. Well, we sure did. Great. And watch, watch for my movie, Still Rocking Around the Clock. <laughs>